It's been in Time Magazine, on BBC, and it has appeared on National Geographic many times. But it is famous for all the wrong reasons. My name is Bastian Egeter. I'm a PhD student in zoology in Otago. For the last three years, I've been looking at the impacts of predation on native frogs. Archie's frog is one of the world's rarest frogs. Not a title to be envied. But why are Archie's frogs so special? The first thing about Archie's frog is that it is only found in New Zealand. It's described as a living fossil. It hasn't changed for over 150 million years, which brings it back to the time of the dinosaurs. It has many primitive characteristics that other frogs don't have, and they're declining rapidly. In one site, they declined 80% over a 10-year period. This remarkable decline sparks an enormous concern. This lovely creature could soon exist nowhere but memory. People wonder what on earth happened to them, and if there is any solution for conservation. About a thousand years ago in New Zealand, humans arrived and they brought with them the Pacific rat. And we used to have seven species of frogs in New Zealand, but at the same time as humans arrived, three species went extinct, and the four species that were here, a lot of them disappeared. So it's likely that predators had a big impact at that time and are still having an impact. My research here has been focused on identifying the main predators of frogs in New Zealand and I've been focusing on introduced predators that came here with humans like rats and pigs and hedgehogs and stoats and all the other introduced mammals that humans brought with them from overseas when they colonized New Zealand. We had to develop a DNA technique where we can look at the stomachs and the poos of these animals, these predators and see whether they've been eating frogs or not. And this technique has shown us so far that ship rats have been eating Archie's frogs in the wild, and also that pigs and hedgehogs are eating introduced frogs in New Zealand. And if they're eating introduced frogs, it's very likely that they're also eating native frogs in the country. With all the research we're doing and the more that we learn about these frogs, we hope and we think that we can save these frogs from extinction and that they'll survive well into the future.